in this session we will start exploring the possibilities and potential for different types of data analysis with chat gpt's plugin code interpreter uh, this is available for chat gpt plus users which means you have to pay a monthly subscription fee okay so let's enable this once you enable that is once you click this particular sign appears which means i can upload a file the file i'm going to upload is this this is a file containing sales information of different types of mobile products it contains unit sold manufacturing price sale price discount which means i can find the profit also okay uh, there is the information about sales uh, the overall profitability and date details and reference details are also available so this is basically a sales file using this we can find different information about uh, sales profit discounts uh, manufacturing price and we can infer many things from this data like which is the best selling product in a particular country which uh, product makes the maximum uh, profit which product uh, commands more potential which product has been sold more in this particular country uh, discounts are offered more for which product all these kinds of information can be analyzed with the help of uh, code interpreter okay so let's upload this file and go through the process of data analysis to do the kind of data analysis that i just explained you will probably depend on excel or you could use a business intelligence tool like power bi in this session i'm just going to upload okay and we are going to ask different questions and let's see what kind of uh, response we get from code interpreter okay so let's come here upload the file i can upload the file by clicking the plus sign here once i click this it will take me to different folders that are available in my laptop or pc this is the file that i'm going to upload now let's wait for this process to be complete okay looks like it's been uploaded and let's uh, start by asking can you summarize the data in the uploaded file we now have the output uh, from code interpreter uh, code interpreter has identified the column names which is very important in any data analysis it has identified uh, column names like country, product, unit sold, so on and so forth. It also lists the entries that are there in the column. Okay, it identifies the first few entries in different columns. What we wanted was a summary of the data. The starting point is identification of columns. Let us see if code interpreter has summarized the data for us. Looks like it encountered error. Uh, in the first instance uh, remember code interpreter process and analyzes data with the help of python and it uses libraries like numpy and pandas so if you actually click show work you can see the code see here the code is there looks like uh, some errors happen in the code for example in this case np is not defined np stands for numpy okay so if you do not know python you don't need to worry because Code interpreter is going to run all this in the background, provide the output of your question for the data that you have uploaded. So you don't need to know Python at all. Okay. This is meant for people who are interested in learning Python. That is all. Okay. Let's click hide work and let's go through the summary of the data. Uh, for units sold, it mentions the average and the standard deviation. It also mentions the minimum number of units sold and the maximum number of units sold okay uh, similarly it provides the information for manufacturing price sale price discount sales profit okay and other relevant details are provided it basically provides information around average standard deviation which is a measure of variation 
it provides information about minimum and maximum profit okay and let's come to the categorical columns categorical or non numeric columns okay all these are numerical columns so categorical columns contain our uh, country product and there is a reference uh, there are five unique countries in which the products are sold the country with most sales is south africa okay there are six unique products and the product with most sales is lava okay so this is useful information good for a start let's ask more information from code interpreter uh, let's ask which country had the highest sales okay let's click this and see what we get it is working and as i said it uses python and a lot of libraries like numpy and pandas it appears that the column names have been misinterpreted okay in the second instance it is able to identify that this particular query should be answered based on the information in the sales column the country with the highest sales is the usa with a total amount of approximately 25 and odd million dollars okay let's ask another question which product had the highest profitability okay remember we had products like apple samsung nokia lava different types of mobile phones right so it is working again uh, it uses python the product with the highest profitability is lava with a total profit amount of approximately 4.797 million now let us ask a code interpreter to create some visuals for us create a bar chart to show the sales across different countries and products now let's see the result code interpreter is going to use python it's going to use python libraries uh, like cbon uh, matplotlib to create the visuals again you don't need to know python code or you don't need to know uh, the details of python libraries that are being used to create this visual let's go through the output it has finished working and you can see the result if you click show work you can see the code okay that's not necessary for us we just have to see the output this is a very good visual uh, it provides details of sales across different countries across different products very useful line right let me increase the complexity and ask a slightly difficult question create a dual axis chart to show the sales and units sold across different countries remember sales and units sold i can't use the same scale because sales and units sold the order of magnitude differs this is in 32000 and this is 1618.5 so these are in different scale so obviously we cannot use a single axis chart we have to use a dual axis chart let's go back to code interpreter and see if it is able to create a dual axis chart it is working uh, in fact uh, for new data analysts creating a dual axis chart is a bit difficult at times even experienced uh, report generators data analysts struggle let's see the code generator's output it is able to generate a dual axis chart okay now i am going to ask uh, chat gpt to add the label information can you add data labels to the above chart let's click 
enter and see what we get. It is working. Let's wait for this process to be complete. The labels have been added here. See, this is what I was referring to labels. Okay. Now, let us ask code interpreter create a map chart showing the sales in different countries. Let's click enter uh, and see the output. It says it cannot create an interactive map. Let's see what are the other details. It is asking us to import libraries such as Folium or Geopandas. Remember, we don't want to write any code. So let us improvise the prompt, uh, or rather, we give feedback saying, I don't want interactive maps, stationary output would suffice. Let's click enter. See if it's able to generate. I actually meant a static map and not stationary map. Anyway, let's continue. It says even for static map visualization, the following environment uh, that is the libraries like Folium are needed. Okay, so we will not pursue this. It is unable to create a map chart. Remember, uh, code interpreter is still work in progress. Okay, it's released under beta environment. Uh, we expect some more changes, some more enhancements to come over the course of time. Even with uh, the limited uh, capabilities, we can do a lot of things. Okay.